right so in the previous tutorial we have used uh, tx package for drawing and uh, we have uh, constructed uh, sort of primitive drawings and uh, now let's see how we can uh, do more complex stuff and uh, yeah so let's say we need to uh, loop a specific element in our latex uh, document so we can do that by using tx package so uh, let me define a new section by saying that uh, looping elements and uh, yeah first we have to use this segment except this command and uh, yeah first we have to draw that uh, specific element you uh, what you want right so let me draw maybe a simple circle right uh, so let's say it start from this origin point and it follows uh, with uh, maybe 0 point or maybe 1 centimeter radius and if I build it again now it will draw this element right uh, but maybe let me reduce this uh, radius for 0 0.5 and now we have this uh, circle here right uh, so let's say I want to loop this element uh, maybe 10 times so in order to do that uh, we can use for each loop uh, inside this specific uh, tick segment so that's why I said before uh, this text package follows uh, some sort of uh, uh you know a programming language syntax behavior so it is quite easy to understand and uh, replicate uh, the things what you want to do and uh, it follows the variables in this fashion as well so this x becomes a variable and this variable should range from up to maybe 1 to 10 right so 1 to 10 and all the values so these uh, spread operators will define all the values in between 1 to 10 right? so it will be like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 uh, 8 9 10 right so instead of uh, defining one by one you can use this spread operator so the tick package automatically will resolve that um, uh, list for you right now we have 10 elements over here so these uh, elements can use to define this specific x coordinate right because let's say we want to loop our element in the horizontal direction then all we have to do is uh, uh, increment these origin points of each circle right so currently that origin point is 0 by 0 so it's all it's uh, over here and if it is uh, 1 by 0 it will become here and it's 2 by, uh, two by 0 it will go over here and 3 by 0 it's go over here likewise uh, up until 10 it will be more horizontal and uh, yeah so that's that's the logic over here so i will make maybe make some sort of indentation indention like this i didn't like this so you will be able to understand it more clearly and uh, yeah let's try to build it again okay i think i have uh, missed some thing over there oh yeah this list should be wrapped within the curly braces instead of that uh, yeah brackets right now we have these uh, 10 elements loop like that but uh, maybe you can reduce that uh, radius so it won't be changed like this right now we have this uh, individual element and you can specify the field drawings as well uh, maybe let's say if you want to use i don't know maybe let's say green color then uh, if you compile it again uh, you will be having uh, you know green circles like this and uh, if, if you want maybe you can use field drawings as well 
uh, then it will become like this okay so that's how we can loop elements by using uh, latex uh, text packing and uh, now let's say if you want to uh, draw some sort of uh, structures within the latex document you can do that by using text package as well for example let's say if you want to maybe draw some sort of uh, tree data structure uh, in your research paper or your publication uh, you can easily do that by using text so first let me define a new section and let me name this as tree structure and yeah it, we need to use this segment and yeah, let me remove this line so in order to draw a tree uh, you have to use this command a node and you have to give the name of that uh, node so initial tree structure start with the root node so i will name this as root and uh, it follows uh, child element so those child element can define as child and child is again a node and a node has a label so i will name this as left again we can define a new child maybe a, a right okay. and put semicolon and build it again then now uh, you can see that we have tree structure so this is the root node and these are the two uh, children within that specific node likewise uh, you can uh, chain whatever number of uh, nodes you want for example let's see if i want uh, another more children uh, another two more children in the right node so all you have to do is uh, specify it over here so first I must go inside this node like this and inside this node I have to specify a new child as a node and I have to give it a label so let me call it as RC1 which is stand for right child one and maybe RC2 to signify the second child let's build it again now you can see that uh, we have uh, more two children uh, to this node right so this is a kind of a complex drawing right? yeah. so if you are going to combine the line components and text component as before it will take uh, quite a long time to construct this sort of a structure but if you are going to use text package it's few lines right? and it's more readable as well so that's the benefit of using uh, this text package for complex project and uh, maybe let's say for example uh, if you want to draw a colored diagram you can do that as well so let me make a new section that called colored diagram so let's say you want to construct maybe a venn diagram or something like that so let's see how we can do that and first you have to copy this segment like this and uh, yeah so basically we can draw maybe field draw circles and you can specify the field as maybe red green blue whatever you want and uh, let me choose the origin point as 0 by 0 and uh, let's give maybe radius as uh, two centimeters right uh, so yeah i think we have to use curly yeah and this is my and let's build it yeah we have this uh colored uh circle here okay right? and uh, yeah so all i did was specifying that uh, radius right 
and uh, yeah maybe let's say we need uh, some sort of lower opacity right so you can specify uh, those opacity uh, in for each uh, field row circle as well or if that uh, specific styling is common for each and every element that uh, comes with uh, this specific segment then uh, those common styles can be specified over here so maybe let's say opacity is around 0 0.5 let's uh, build it again yeah now you can see that uh, the opacity has been reduced and uh, yeah so maybe you can use thick borders as well okay like this and let's compile it yeah now that border has become thick but uh, it's not quite visible because this opacity has been applied for both the uh, border and the uh, field row color so maybe i can only apply this opacity mask for the field color so i can specify it as like this then uh, uh, that uh, opacity of 0 0.5 won't be applied for the border i can see that uh, you can clearly visible that uh, border likewise maybe uh, you can have uh, any number of circles you want so let's say uh, this one is having green field color this one is having blue color and uh, maybe we have to change these coordinate positions in order to uh, have you know uh, three circles visible otherwise each and everything will be overlapped together right now let's build it again and uh, yeah see now we have three circles uh, sort of a venn diagram maybe yeah you can easily uh, build those stuff and uh, yeah so when it comes to these uh, colorings and uh, styling of the uh, text element uh, maybe you can apply uh, shadings as well uh, so shading means let's say uh, you know uh, somewhat uh, you know 3d style for this specific element so yeah let's see how we can do that as well so first i will create a new section uh, so let's say shades and uh, we need uh, these two segments like this you need that and uh, yeah so instead of fill a uh, draw let's use shade option and uh, yeah so we can maybe build a circle again uh, but uh, maybe let's say one centimeter of radius or we can even reduce for 0 0.5 and let's compile it again yeah now you can see that uh, the shade has been applied but uh, yeah it, it uh, it's kind of uh, you know invisible over here right so it's because of uh, by default with applying this uh, uh, black to white radius uh, black to white uh, shade that's why it has become somewhat invisible over here but uh, maybe you can use uh, different colors uh, let's say maybe color white right uh, and let's build it again yeah it is still same but uh, yeah maybe let's let make uh, this specific shade as a ball so it will be more visible right now you can see that uh, that shade has been uh, successfully applied and we have that uh, circle element as well so uh, you can have different uh, shades and shade colors so let's say maybe uh, we need green shade and uh, maybe we need uh, yellow shade and maybe red 
so let's build again and yeah so uh, actually everything was uh, built everything was there but uh, uh, they are overlapped right because of these origin coordinates so maybe we can uh, make this as one and maybe this one two and maybe this one three and i think it's better to uh, reduce this radius as well otherwise everything will be uh, touched together uh, because the uh, diameter will become one centimeter if you specify the radius as 0 0.5 right so the coordinates will be swapped from uh, one centimeter as well so everything will be touched if you specify the radius as 0 0.5 so it's better to have some sort of radius like this but uh, based on your use case you can pick these values and uh, yeah let's build it again right now we have different uh, types of shades right different colors of shades and uh, yeah so those are the stuff that i wanted to showcase uh, with respect to tix package and uh, yeah so these are very primitive stuff actually uh, but uh, there are a whole lot of content available uh, with the tix package and you can uh, create immersive uh, number of very complex drawings uh, so yeah uh, I try those stuffs as well but uh, yeah this basic stuff will give a head start for you and uh, yeah so that's it and I'll see you in the next video.